welcome to episode 108. This week we have Heap of the Week, Mark's Questions of the Hall, Sports Revolution, Now You Know, Music Review, Shepherd Hill's Sorta Kinda Live Weather Show, and hey, Rolling Me This. Enjoy the show. Goodbye. Next time you want to try and escape your worst horrible class, be careful because you might run into Questions in the Hall. What would Scooby Doo do? How do you spell gubernatorial? I love my Honda. <laughs> Where have all the cowboys gone? I don't know that question. <laughs> How did Stella get her groove back? I have no clue. That's too bad. What would you rather have? A penury of corn or a dearth of corn? A what? A, a penury of corn or a dearth of corn? Come on, it's a simple question. I don't really like corn. I know. Uh, Get Tim in it too. <laughs> Big brother watching you. Big brother is watching you. Mmm, bugs. <laughs> Do you like pork chop sandwiches? How about them peaker chews? What at you? The BK Broiler or the BK Lounge? Answer the question. Come on. One or two? One. Okay. Does Red Bull give you wings? Red Bull yeah. gives you Red Bull. <laughs> Up next is this week's Heap of the Week. up if you didn't get a chance to buy V Dance tickets your friends at Sham can help you out. All you have to do is answer a weekly question because for the next four weeks Sham is raffling off four sets of V Dance tickets. This week's a question from the math department. You might want to get out a pencil and a piece of paper to just take it down. Sophie raises chickens and sheep on her farm. Altogether her chickens and sheep have 126 eyes and 188 legs. How many chickens and sheep does she have? All you have to do is get the answer to Mr. Cusick in room 204 by the end of next Tuesday on a piece of paper with your name and your English teacher's name on it. If you didn't get the question, you can go see Mr. Cusick in room 204. Good luck! Unlike our taste in politics, we try to bring you different views on music. So here is this week's Janice Jive. Hey guys, it's me again with another Friday morning review for you. And so much for reviewing new music. This is by no stretch of the imagination a new release, or even a recent release, but it's a good one nonetheless. Released in 1999, Something to Write Home About is the Get Up Kids' second full-length CD, and it proves to be an awesome follow-up. Classified first as indie, the band uses a unique guitar sound and an alternation between piano and ensemble in most of the songs that leaves the listener with a sense of what perfect blend and balance is. <laughs> this proves to be difficult when it comes to any kind of rock CD. The lyrics, while pretty much melancholy, um, use the insecurities of people and stresses and word sounds to come across with exactly the right emotion, tone, and edge. An issue with ballads on rock CDs is that they all sound exactly the same. But Guck does it right. Every song in the CD is different, <laughs> but not so much that the CD stops making sense. Hopefully, you'll think twice about the Gut of Kids and give them a second chance if you ever give them a listen. As a side note, I'm looking for more music, so if you have anything you'd like to see on Sham, chuck a copy my way. Hi, I'm Mark, and today, and from now on, I'm going to be bringing you useless facts from my books of useless facts, uh, tidbits of information that you would find unnecessary in the uncommon day, but I find it in the common day.
Today I'll be introducing the Tooth Fairy, a very special person in my life. She gave me hopes and dreams, like putting candy underneath my pillow as I put my tooth there. But did you know the Tooth Fairy originated in Germany? But the story of the idea was they put teeth in rat holes so the tooth would generate new life in that rat hole and give dental quality to that person who found that rat or the tooth, whatever found first. Up next, we have Sports Revolution. Viva la Revolution! Hey there, I'm Alex. And I'm Joe. And welcome to the Sports Revolution. Now, we're going to do this light, let lightning quick, but we'll do it quick. All right, first things first. Boys and girls soccer team is Sunday. They have districts. Everyone can try to show up. It's at home. Speaking of the weekend game, there's a football game this Saturday at Uxbridge. All right, and uh, field hockey team, Friday. Now, I know some people are having trouble with the football team and the school, but, you know, we're working hard yeah, out there. Right, the field hockey team, Friday, at 2.30 or 3.30, we're not exactly sure. Football, on the other hand, is having a game this Saturday. Now, despite all you guys' support, we're having a great time on the field. If you weren't at the Wachusett game... Right now, we have, uh, we're have we doing very well. All our teams are in first place. Most of them are uh, in districts. And despite the football team, but, hey, we're working hard out there. All right, thank you, Alex, very much. Thank you very much. But, uh... Make sure you go to all those district games, support Shepherd Hill, support your teams. You're right. I should be considering other sports. And football, Oxbridge, 2 o'clock Saturday. Be there. Hey, I guess they gave us more time to do filming, so uh, we're having a little longer segment, and we're going to do Funniest Sports Moment at the Hill. And now, J.U. Ice. Roll it. Here we have here Shepard we have Hill, Hill executing a great play on the one yard line. line. And as you and can, as see, you can here, see here, we have Kevin, Kevin Soldani, Soldani doing his titled, titled fish, fish flop. flop. He looks, he like, looks a like a harpooned whale, whale, Alex. Alex. That, that he, he, he does, he joke. does joke. Let's see that again. I'm Alex. And I'm Joe. And I'm wearing a purple suit. Thank you very much. Well, that's it, Shepherd Hill. Have a great Friday and a fantastic weekend. On Wednesday, we have a half a day. And on Thursday, we get the day off to remember the veterans. <laughs>